Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Saints playbook. If you guys don't know, the Saints playbook is the playbook that I chose to use this year. It is the most dominant book out there. I did an ebook on it as well and a full breakdown video. All that stuff's in the description if you want to get it on my personal site or get it here. Uh, but either way, this is definitely the best playbook out right now. And it's pretty much the best playbook every year. Let's be honest. The Saints is just such a fire book year after year after year. Uh, but I really find that one of the uh, particular setups you can do out of this formation uh, is really taking... Uh, the Madden community by storm. It is um, easily, uh, uh, I, you know, I put out a full, I mean, early first month of Madden, I put out a full two or three part series out of this, um, but to me, it's gotten even better. I mean, it's to the point where I'm re-releasing some of these plays. Uh, some of them didn't, weren't in the original videos, but uh, I'm re-releasing just one. I'm only doing one video of this. I'm doing three plays in particular um, that were out in previous videos and that are all improved and even more dominant now. So you guys need to incorporate these new adjustments into this scheme, and you're going to see how dominant it is. So, uh, like I said, if you guys want to see the full breakdown video, but there is not going to be part two. So let's go and let's pick the first play. I'm going to try to run through this quick because, like I said, this is getting kind of well known, and I did put it out already. Um, but I, I just want to go over the pitch setup real quick, and then I'll go over the two plays that I didn't show uh, previously with the new adjustments. So the pitch, like I said, that one in the middle there. Yeah, so this play here, if you guys have seen online, you probably have. It's really become popular. I first put this play out a couple weeks in the Madden. I'll pop a link for that. It should be popping up now. Uh, but you guys can see the date on that. I'm sure some people say, oh, it's been around for years. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But I know that when I first discovered this play, the way that I ran it was I would motion over Fleener here and leave him on the outside because obviously you have a tight end blocking your edge. It's going to set that edge really well. I find it's that still works, but I also find it really works well um, to motion over uh, this receiver. And a lot of people, what they're doing now is motion snapping it right when it gets to about the, uh, the tackle there. And you can see how it just really sets up great blocks. So it's a really good play, really dominant play. Even the pros are having a hard time stopping this play. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this, but like I said, you probably, if you play online, you've probably seen this online. It's a really good setup. Uh, I'm just kind of, you see how the blocking just, you know, he gets to that second level. It's just a really easy play. Like I said, I'm not going to go into it too much because I did put it out and I feel a lot of people know it. Um, what's also really helpful though is you can flip the play without an issue. You, you know what I mean? You can you can run it just like this and it's not horrible, but you can flip the play. Uh, you can do the exact same thing on the other side. Um, that's really useful. And um, it's just a really good, I don't know for what reason, but the blocking typically sets up pretty good. I didn't get the best couple runs here, but believe me, this is one of the best run plays, probably the best run play in the game right now. So I'm going to go ahead and move on and show you the next setup. I have a, uh, like I said, that that particular play is really well known, but this pass play that I'm going to run off of that is not as well known. The, F, the halfback wheel is actually a pretty, uh, typically a pretty used play. A lot of people know about it, but they don't know about the adjustment that I make, and that's what makes this play um, even harder to stop. Is it's going to mirror that first play uh, to a T, and it's going to it's going to basically you know do it on a whole nother level. So let's go ahead and let's pick that the halfback wheel at the bottom. We'll go down to the nickel. Now here's another play that when I originally put it out, I did it uh, with with the motion where I would let the receiver set. So what I do is I'm gonna have Gin come over here, uh, you know, put him on a flat route once he gets set. Um, it's a good setup to run this way. I know when I motion him over that it's not a man coverage because nobody follows. So I know right away I'm probably looking at a cover two or a cover four. So um, basically I have my high and low reads. Sneed uh, is not really gonna be that great against zone coverage unless. Um, you know, it's a it's a cover too hard flat or something like that. But most scenarios, the circle route is going to get open right away with a lot of catch and run space uh, out in the flat right there. There's nobody within five yards. So that's one of the good things about this play. You can run it like this if you want to. Um, here you see he's full, he's coming across, so I know right away it's a man coverage. So putting him on that flat route is not going to be good. I'll go ahead and I'll show you what I'm talking about. He's right there in coverage. I'm getting picked sixth. So you know right away with the motion what's, what it's going to be. Now what makes this play um, really good and really unique uh, when I motion him over is, like I said, it gives away the adjustment, gives away the play. Uh, pretty much everybody's going to get open. If it's a zone coverage, pretty much everybody's going to get open, especially like a look like this, a cover three. Thomas is going to get open right away, uh, right up that scene there. Uh, he'll also be really good against cover two if he gets all the way through his route. Uh, but this play right here is one of the harder to stop plays. And I'm going to run it to mirror that first run play. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to motion over the uh, receiver and I'm going to motion hike him the same way. Now, I did that a little bit earlier. It might take a little bit of practice uh, to get it down. I did it a little bit earlier than I wanted to there. This one here, you have to wait till he crosses or till he get, gets past 
the uh, the left tackle. But if you do it like that, he gets an acceleration burst out in the flat, and your opponent is never going to know the difference between the two plays pre-snap. So that's really an adjustment that I didn't have in the original play, and I don't even have it in my ebook. Uh, but it really sets this play up uh, for another level because, like I said, once you do this enough, your opponent's going to start paying attention to that, and he's going to start, you know, seeing that motion snap. Even there, I almost beat the man coverage with it, which isn't typical. Uh, but basically, uh, your opponent's gonna gonna be looking for that every time you do this motion. They're gonna be looking for that toss. And, and if you run a, um, you know, if you run a pass off, it's gonna it's gonna blitz them even more and gonna give you even more of your plays. Now, I want to show a second adjustment to this um, that I didn't uh, discuss yet. Where basically, um, you know, this 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 receiver here, as he comes across, and I see that it's a man coverage, I know that the flat route isn't gonna work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him on a fade, and all I'm really doing that for is to basically get Thomas open even more for cover too. Um, it could also help out. I mean, Snead's going to be the read every time against the man coverage. This outside triangle route, uh, he ran into everybody for whatever reason. I don't know, but that's going to be the read. Um, so let's go ahead and let's do that again. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see what our look is going to be. Uh, here we got a zone, so I'm going to do that motion snap. He's going to get out there. That was actually he reacted to it. Uh, oddly enough, he didn't he didn't stick to it, but still. But uh, but you know, like I said, to simplify this. Your reads are simple. It's going to be if it's a man coverage, it's going to be Sneed or uh, Thomas, like it is here. Um, since it's a man coverage, I'm going to let him finish set up, and I'll do the uh, I'll do the fade. Because um, like now I know, like I said, that the uh, the triangle route's really the guy. I mean, on a man route, uh, that's going to be the biggest play every time, the most guaranteed. So and and then like I said, I didn't even go over the running back. The running back's another good one. So here we have this is a uh, zone coverage. So I know right away that if it's probably going to be the circle route. Thomas looks like he's good right up to cover three. If it's a cover two, which is not because of the setup, but if it's a cover two, Thomas will be really good deep uh, once he finishes his route. So here we're just going to do, this is the simplest thing. If it's there, I don't know why I didn't catch it, but if he's there, I'm going to take it every time. But um, that's really, you know, this is your breakdown. So I'm going to put him into motion. Looks like we got his own coverage here. I'm going to let this guy get his little acceleration boost out. Look at him. He's like five, ten yards off from anybody. I'm getting like 15 yards, but doing nothing. Easy. That's what makes this play so uh, such a good adjustment. Gin's route in that motion. Uh, your your opponent's never going to know what hit him. Here we go again. I'm passing outside too, by the way. Um, just so you guys know, it's it's not something that's essential, but um, it's definitely helpful. So let's see if we can get a couple other looks. Like I said, I'll run it a couple times. I'd like to see everybody do their thing here. I want everybody to eat, but look at that, man. That's just like, he's just, there's nobody around. And it would work even if you had, didn't have him in motion. The circle route... It just works that way. You don't have to do the motion thing. The motion thing is just to confuse your opponent and play off of the run play. Uh, but he'll he'll do that here too. Like I didn't have him. You know, what I'm saying he's just wide open. Still isn't catching it though. I don't know what's going on. But you can see how wide open he is even without the motion. So if you want to mix this in with the toss play using the motion or the toss play using him using the uh, the regular, you know, the motion hiking or just the regular, it's going to work the same way. This here looks like my cover two beater. I'm definitely going to hold this. And we're going to go that. I don't know if that was a cover two or cover three. But like I said, Thomas is really good deep over the middle. Now, this next play here, I didn't even put out. I didn't even discover it. Um, like I said, this, the pitch, I'll take. I don't know if, if it got popular from somebody else or from me. I don't know. I was running a pitch play from about probably the first couple weeks of this particular Madden. So I have no issue trying to take credit for it. But the dive is not my play. Uh, this is something that uh, I, I hear somebody was using in a tournament in Vegas. And it's a variation uh, with the same type of motion that I've been using. Um, but uh, like I said, I can't take credit for it. I don't know who came up with this one, but it's a really good adjustment. So let's go ahead and let's pick this. We'll keep going random nickel. Now this particular play here, we're doing the exact same motion. It doesn't matter which receiver you motion. All that matters is you're motioning somebody. You're going to hike this ball right when he gets past the, uh, the left tackle. And you can see how that just basically gives you an, a fullback essentially going right up the middle. So to recap, you have a motion for a, uh, a a toss play, or as it was as the pitch, where you're motioning the receiver, but he's getting all the way across. You have a motion with a pass play, where basically you're doing the exact same. In both plays, you're motion hiking uh, once they get to the right tackle in the scenario, or the left tackle, depending if you're running to the other side. On this particular play, you're doing that exact same motion one more time. You're just gonna hike it once he gets uh, more, you know, not even halfway through a set, you're gonna get right there, uh, and you can see how it just creates a, it's an amazing blocking setup with this type of play. Yeah, a lot of your receivers aren't the best blockers. If you have a good blocking receiver, that might be 
you know, a good way to go. Uh, but you can see how there's holes. That, that one there actually ran into that guy. I would have had a lot of space. Yeah, so this particular play, like I said, it's not mine. I did put out the pitch play earlier in the year. I didn't take that from anybody. And uh, the pass play is really the uh, the biggest addition to this because up till now, this whole scheme has really revolved around just two run plays. But now you have a really great passing concept to go with that. So uh, that's why I felt the need to put this out again because I do feel like this is the best thing out there right now. Uh, I'm not getting the best runs at the moment, but it's not a big deal. Um, but uh, you guys get it. I mean, this is this is not meant to be a home run play right here. This is just meant to be, um, you know, bread and butter. You know, like, but you can, I mean, you can get big plays. You can see right there as I get a touchdown. I mean, it's very capable. Uh, but like I said, I mean, credit to the guy. Whoever came up with this dive, credit to him. I don't know his name. I don't think he's even a YouTuber. Um, he's just a, a prof he's a, a, a tournament player. So credit to him. I don't know who, who came up with it. But uh, like I said, the toss, you know, that, ju that adjustment, uh, somebody obviously came up with that too. And I'm just basically reporting the news and adding that pass play, which to me sets this to a whole nother level because that pass play is another play that's really hard to stop. So that's it. Like I said, there's no part two to this. Uh, if you guys want to see the Saints uh, full breakdown video with more stuff like this, link in the description. All that stuff's in the description, whether you get on my personal site, madmoneyshot.com, or on YouTube, there's a full video, or my Patreon. You get unlimited access to all my stuff on, on, on Patreon, so uh, it's up to you guys. But other than that, um, you know, do me a favor with the like button anyway, and that's and that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.